what sort of marketing strategies have you found to be most effective in growing and nurturing your community at Hive Power? And even, you know, some of the communities you mentioned earlier about the Clean Energy Club and the picnics that you're a part of and X, Y, Z, what sort of things or strategies have you used? Uh, we can make this kind of a fun one if I talk also about the international <laughs> community building at the same time as the Clean Energy Club. But uh, Clean Energy Club-wise marketing strategies, um, you know, it's really having something, just like with a product, you need to have product market fit and you have to have community and market fit. And our community yeah. is really focused on what our market wants and our market is executives and managers from the energy and mobility industries. So they're looking okay. for connection uh, in person or virtual business card exchanges where they can meet up with other people who are innovating around the same topics, maybe even competitors yeah. sometimes, but in the meetings they're there uh, in cooperation. And um, we let them do that both on screen and off. So we have these virtual uh, events where there's kind of a TED Talk panel discussion yeah. on the topic. And then we have breakout sessions with a moderator that makes sure that things don't go in too salesy of a direction, but stay yeah. focused on the topic and going deeper yes. and making real connections. And we also make sure those moderators are experts from our team. So they're all developers who came from energy companies or automotive themselves or even our founders. So we're getting people who are, have the right level of experience to talk intelligently about the topics. And then we also do these in-person events where we do a similar format, but we do it all live. Um, the first two we've held in Milan, and we're looking at trying to do maybe another one uh, in June in London during the MOVE uh, 2024, which oh. is a big uh, mobility conference. So. Yeah, those are effective. Yeah. And then, of course, you need to do regular marketing. So you do lead generation, contacting people on LinkedIn, sending out email, writing posts and everything like that. But for me, the key is having personalized content that really fits with yeah. the niche that you're looking for. So if we have a club meeting that's going to be on vehicle to grid, I make sure that I'm you know focusing that on people whose job titles and histories indicate that that's actually something they'll be interested in and sending them then very personalized messages so they never feel spammed um, yeah 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 no of course of course and that was that was a really great answer because you work in an industry that's very unique um and i think when i was thinking of the questions to come up with i was thinking you know i guess community isn't necessarily niche is it any industry can have a community. I guess it's just got to be relevant to those people. So you bring up a really good point about making sure that it's, you know, th these things are not salesy and people don't feel like, you know, it's just another kind of backwards way to, to get them in. You're really honing in on what it is they are interested in and you're not being sneaky about it, which is so important. Mm -hmm. 